Welcome to a new question of the day. In a previous video, we described one single qualitative variable that corresponded to the brand preference of a group of clients. Today we ask ourselves, how do we easily describe this variable according to geographic origin of clients? We'll answer this question using a cross tab, also called a contingency table. Here are some data relative to a sample of clients from a shoe shop described by different variables, including several qualitative variables. You want to describe preferred brand according to geographic origin. In other words, you want to cross these two qualitative variables. Cross tabs are often used to represent the link between two qualitative variables. Cross tabs are also called contingency tables. Imagine a table with the preferred brand categories stored in rows, and the geographic origin categories stored in columns. At the intersection between these two categories, we count the number of corresponding clients. For example, there are four Martians who prefer brand A. These numbers can also be represented in the form of percentages, per column for example. We obtain a vision per planet of client preference profiles. We're thus able to compare planets with each other. How to create a crosstab in Excel Stat. Go to Preparing Data and click on Create a Contingency Table. In the Row Variables field, select the Preferred Brand column. In the Column Variables field, select the Geographic Origin. In the Outputs tab, activate Proportions per Column and select Percentages. Then click on OK. Here are the results. It is expressed first in frequencies and then in percentages. We see here that brand C is particularly preferred on Earth compared to other brands. It is definitely possible to automatically generate multiple crosstabs based on several variables. Return to create a contingency table. In the column variables field, select origin and gender. Click on OK. We first obtain a crosstab between preferred brand and origin. Secondly, we obtain a crosstab between preferred brand and gender. We have just described the link between two qualitative variables. In an upcoming question of the day video, we'll talk about a tool that helps describe the link between two quantitative variables, the scatter plot. See you soon.